I've seen when um, black people claim that the ancient Hebrews and Jews were black people and Jesus was not a white man many white people come across and say okay Jesus was not a white man but he wasn't a black person either uh, because he was from the Middle East and therefore according to them he must have uh, looked like Arabs but this is a fallacy just because uh, the modern population of a region looks like X doesn't mean that the ancient inhabitants of that region uh, looked also like X for example look at Australia are white Australians descended from the ancient Aborigines or are white Mexicans descended from the ancient Mayans of course not the Middle East is the most melting pot region of the world there are black white brown Indian looking and Mongol looking people in this region all of whom claim to be native and indigenous to this region but and for example in Arabs there are black white and mixed the so-called brown Arabs all of whom claim to be the real Arabs but which of them is the real Arab the black one the white one or the brown one the same goes for Iran there are many different ethnic groups in Iran there are Mongoloid looking Turkmen there are Indian looking Baluch there are native blacks there are white looking Turks there are mixed looking Kurds and Lurs which of them is the true Iranian and unlike what the believers of the Indo-European hoax claim the white looking people in this region are not descended from the ancient mythical uh, Indo-Europeans these people are mostly Turks or descended from Turks for example here in Iran up to 40 percent of people are Turks and I don't know how many of uh, them are descended from Turks meaning are related to Turks and the most white speaking people of Iran are mostly Turks but there are also Russian, Georgian and Armenian people too living in this region and that we all know that Turks are not an indigenous people to this region they came from southern Russia and the Central Asia in recent centuries and they cannot be an indigenous people to this region the ancient inhabitants of uh, the ancient peoples of the Middle East were all different types of black people different groups of black people Assyrians were a black people Persians were a black people Elamites were a black people and Arabs yes were a black people that's why you see Assyrians have depicted themselves with uh, curly hair curly beard and dreadlocks that's why you see Persians have depicted themselves with curly hair and curly beard and even there are many wall paintings found in Susa in which Persians ha have depicted themselves with black skin have painted themselves with black skin so therefore Persians were black people not a so-called Indo-European and I believe that Persians, Assyrians, Arabs and all of the ancient inhabitants of the Middle East were Sem uh, this, uh, an Ethiopian type of people, the so-called Semitics, an Ethiopian type of people. Uh, people like the Somalis, like Ethiopians, like Eritreans, like Djiboutis, like uh, dark-skinned Yemenis. You know they weren't a white people why because the temperature here in this city goes up to 50 degrees Celsius in summers with a high intensity and a UV index of 12 
white people cannot endure this uh, heat they cannot tolerate this heat so they cannot be indigenous to this region because we uh, semi white looking people cannot uh, stand this heat we cannot go outside too much in summers but how can white people be uh, indigenous to this region and uh, I don't say this because I'm racist as you can see I'm not a black person and I look like uh, look mostly like whites than blacks I just want to tell the truth that uh, the ancient inhabitants of these regions from Babylonians, Assyrians, Elamite, Persians, Jews were all black please stop whitewashing history and by black I don't mean the Bantu type of blacks or Khoisan type of blacks they were an Ethiopian uh, type of blacks, I think.